What's up? Travis Brady here. I'm downtown Phoenix at the fair. and We're going to figure out the story behind the votes. Okay. I'm a branding mentor and I'm going to find out why do people vote for the people that they do? What's the story behind it? And as the host, we must stay neutral. So this is my neutral outfit going on right now. So I got the blue. Okay, I got the American flag. So the blue is very left. The American flag is very right. And then we got this. I believe in America and I believe in Jesus' story. My outfit is leaning to the right. <laughs> Dude, how did you get your girlfriend? She's pretty, she's good looking compared to you. <laughs> no, we met at a strip club. Well, I, I bounced there and then she, uh, she was a waitress. And I'm, I'm Chris, I'm a bouncer at Jaguars. What's up, man? So tell us your name. Caleb. Landon. And Brian. Caleb. Servando Padilla. Uh, David Moreno. Ivan Avalos. My name's Kobe. Savannah. Jeremiah. Why do they call it Jaguar? Um, it's just a, I don't know, it's just the name. Um, it's actually countrywide. We have like multiple oh, locations. Okay. The reason why I ask is because they say if you're between 18 and 25, you're a Puma. If you're between 25 and 32, you're a Wildcat. Mm -hmm. If you're between 33 and 43, you're a Cougar. And then after 43, you're a Jaguar. Uh oh, Are you voting this next election? I am hoping to, yes. Who are you uh, going to vote for? I would like to vote for Trump. You'd like to vote for Trump? Jeez. Yeah. So what are the top three most important things for you for the election? I mean, it's important to elect somebody that you think would serve as a great president and take care of the people, take care of local businesses, and make sure that the country's run right. Who do you think I'd vote for? I think you would vote for Trump. You think I'd vote for Trump? As the host, I can't tell you who I vote for, okay? <laughs> all right, but wonderful people everywhere, all the time, tell me I'm the greatest, okay? Right. Give me your best Trump impression. It's gonna be huge. You are, so are you gonna vote in this next election? I am. Who are you gonna vote for? Nah, I'm not gonna disclose that. You can't disclose that? Nah, I mean, I'm the... <laughs> who who, would, opinion, who I, would you vote for? I would probably vote for Harrison Wallace. I just care about women's rights a lot. I care about the environment a lot, so I can't just like skip over those. And I feel like Trump has already shown when he was in the office that he is not he's gonna work against us. Who are you, if you were to be able to vote this election, who would you vote for? Kanye West. So why Kanye West? He makes his clothes affordable, which is nice. Okay. Uh, for a designer brand, having most of your products is $20, I think is pretty generous. Do your best Kanye. Bill Clinton doesn't care about black people. How old are you guys? We're 17. 17. Where do you guys go to school at? Chavez. Where is it? Chavez. Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez. If you guys were to vote, who would you vote for? Trump. You'd vote for Trump? Yeah, I don't know why. Who would you vote for? I don't know. If you had the vote? I don't know. Someone said earlier Kanye West. Actually, I would, I would, I would vote, vote for him. You would vote for Kanye? Vote for if, uh, if you had to vote this election, who would you vote for? For Trump. You'd vote for Trump? Yeah. Who would you vote for? Trump. You'd vote for Trump too? Why Trump? Um, uh, I feel like it would bring most of the most of the like down. crisis down yeah. and everything like that and like uh, how like Biden brought everything up and stuff like that. Yeah. So, What's your favorite Trump quote? Most recent one actually. It, it was not even a quote. It was like what he did at the at the thing where he went like this and the when they tried to shoot it up. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, that huh? was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Give us your best Trump impression. <laughs> All right, that was wonderful. Wonderful people love that, okay, great job. Tell us what you do. Um, I work with Andy Elliott, sales training leadership company. Been with them for uh, two and a half years now. Let's go. Come on, let's Elliott go. Army, let's go. Let's go, I know baby. Travis has been out here a bunch uh, to the Elliott group, so I mean, he's a, he's a badass, he's kicking ass, and uh, he's taking over the world too. Yeah, thanks, man. Let's go. Who are you uh, voting for us next election? Actually, uh, Trump. You'd get fired if you answered anything different, right? It's all good, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Not really into politics, but I know Trump. Trump's the one uh, that's going to help us get back on track. So. What's the most important thing for you when voting for Trump? I think just understanding that uh, he does fight for our freedom. You know, I've, I've watched uh, some of the debate, and uh, just based off of his debates and who he's connecting with. And I, then again, I'm not really into politics, but I know at the end of the day, he's, he's a great businessman. You know what he's talking about, and uh, he's doing it for the people, which I think is the main thing. Oh, in this next election, who do you guys think you're going to vote for? I don't vote. You I don't, don't vote? vote? I don't vote. You don't vote? Why? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't like to. I don't, I, I don't get into the politics stuff. Yeah, It'd be so confused. I'm just like. But in other countries, they don't get a chance to vote, and they end up taking over the country. So if everyone decided to not vote, they'd take over 
All right. Let's go. Like if, me personally, if I had to, like if I had a vote, like pick between Kamala or Trump, I'm picking Trump. Trump. Yeah. Why are you picking Trump? Taxes. He ain't gonna take it. I can work overtime. That man go. He gonna leave me with my money. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm chilling there. <laughs> so we had a great night. We didn't really get into any deep conversations. Really, just really surface uh, oriented. No fights. We didn't get any fights or arguments. So it was really good. And um, I guess the takeaway is everyone has a story behind why they do what they do. It was a great night. Go vote, all right? Because it's your fundamental right, okay? We got to take back America, okay? And I'm voting for Trump. Hey, what's up? Hey, first off, thanks for watching the whole video. As a reward, I want to share some really, really powerful insights uh, that I had um, through this experience, okay? Um, the biggest being most people do not want to share their beliefs. They're very scared, okay? They're very fearful of getting attacked or being ostracized. But what I found out is if you give people the place, okay, to share their emotions in a safe place, they'll actually share a lot more than what you think. And I was just thinking about, you know, this, if I was in the political game on either side, I'd be like, man, if they would take a second and just listen to the narrative of what's happening and not fight it, but go along with it. And uh, one person I really have come to admire um, is JD Vance, and he does this so well. And he, I remember in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the debate um, that he had, he was talking about how the American people have lost trust in the government, and we need to gain it back. And I was like, wow, that was really powerful for him to say because that's the truth of what's happening in the situation. So sometimes we try to fight against things rather than go along with it. Uh, I did some Jeet Kune Do for a little bit. It's Bruce Lee's martial art. And he teaches to not fight the punch, but to push it where it goes, right? And so it was this really interesting uh, blend of offense and defense simultaneously. And um, I found a lot of people, it was hard to get them to talk, but once I started getting them talking, they just couldn't, <laughs> they couldn't be quiet. So I thought that was really powerful. So anyways, subscribe to the channel. We'll be sharing a lot more of these and we're going to be taking it to the streets. Branding conversation, or I don't know. We'll, fi we'll figure out what to call the brand later. Good talk.